My name is Ratsumi, and welcome back to the Binding Guys Rebirth, where last time... <laughs> and this time, we are going to complete the family man. Fucking difficult challenge. We had a lot of benefits last run, including a rainbow baby that came out of fucking nowhere. Uh, and a lot of damage, and Tammy's head. Unfortunately, a lot of the things that could have been good for us did not pan out being good. If I had to say what was wrong with that run, it would be the fact that we didn't get any red hearts after collecting Dark Bum. Seriously, not a single red heart drop, even though we opened like four chests after collecting Dark Bum. It was absurd. It was absolutely absurd to say the least. No, I'm not salty. Not me. You think I would be salty about something like that? <sighs> Please. Definitely, I was incredibly salty. Yay! I got a key for a bomb. Ooh, as a character who has Dad's key, which unlocks. <sighs> oh boy. So I'm not going to take the spirit heart just yet. Because I might end up wanting to gamble away some of my hearts on a self-sacrifice room. And I definitely don't want my spirit heart to be used while fighting the boss or doing the gambling. Ow. Okay. Perfect. Yay! What a good start. Tears plus shot speed up. Yay! Damn it. I was expecting the secret room to be directly above there. Super secret room, that is. Um, so tears plus shot speed up does not affect us, obviously, because we actually aren't firing tears. So not even slightly worth my time, that. I will get to the first deal with the devil before I decide whether I'm going to continue this run. And yeah, it's that serious at this point. If I don't get little brimstone... If I don't get Ghost Baby, if I don't get Hive Mind, if I don't get any of those types of really, really... Or if I don't get, like, huge damage up. If I don't get any of those types of things in or before the first deal with the Devil, it's kind of just not worth my time to continue the run. And it's definitely not worth wasting your time. This is one of those runs where you infinitely reset until you get the right setup. There we go. Exactly what I was looking for. Huh. I can... Can I take all of these? Take that and then pop that and then... No, I can't. So this is one damage up, plus three black hearts, and that's Little Brimstone, which I was just begging for. Huh. Actually, I'm not going to check in the shop, because if something really good is spawned, I don't want to know, because I actually have no way of buying it, unless it's a soul heart on sale, I guess. But, you know, if Hive Mind or Magic Fingers or something like that is spawned, I don't want to see it. Hopefully that means it can spawn again. I don't know how that works, actually. Yeah, I'll do this. Little Brimstone is going to wreck shit. Look, look at what Little Brimstone is doing. Are you seeing this shit? Little Brimstone does twice as much damage as he used to do and is destroying everything that ever existed. Explosive Diarrhea is fine. It's actually a pretty good pill, in my opinion. Health up's fine. That means I'm going to be able to, hopefully, capitalize on a deal with the Devil this floor as well. Now, one problem with Little Brimstone has on this run is he trails so far behind you that it's really difficult to uh, aim him. Because you can see, like, Familiar's trail at different lengths behind me. 
and he trails the furthest back because I already had the other three when I picked him up. So yeah, it's going to be difficult to target, but, you know. Ouch. Um. Ooh, bucket of lard. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I think it's uh, 0.3 speed down. Bucket of Lot is really good, actually. It's just I want to get speed so that I can um, effectively dodge. Because not being able to effectively dodge is basically like not having the extra health that you just picked up. You need the health to stay safe. Okay. So if Dingle tries to charge like that, we can get out of his way by hiding behind a poop. Because he can't charge through them. Dinner, HP up, excellent. I think... Oh no! Okay. Okay, I feel less good about this now. Nine lives though is actually pretty good. Oh, uh, But, see, if I took Lord of the Wind... Uh, if I took Demon... Right, if I took the Demon thing first... Um... Oh. Please be fucking Hive Mind or Champion's Belt. I don't know. Oh, Sharp Blood's horrible. Okay. Please be... No, it can't be, because it wasn't before... No, okay, fine. Uh, that means the secret room is here. Oh, I don't even have any bombs to check it. Lovely. Fuck. Please don't be a stone chest. Well, I guess it wasn't a stone chest. So this is a really good run, but I put myself in jeopardy by taking risks that I probably did not need- Definitely did not need to take, let's be honest. That's gonna give me one chance to look for a super secret room, which I think is here. Yep. I'll play this three times. Oh my god, thank you. Just ended up with a free soul heart. That's fine. That is fine. Every soul heart right now matters so, so much. This is really good. Having little brimstone is amazing. Now we just need something to take care of our health positioning. And this damage can carry us through to the rest of the run. Easily. We can use little brimstone entirely by himself to kill... Mo uh, to kill... Mum and Isaac and Mum's heart, which is a really weird order to put those in, but, you know, we can do that. It's just we need to be healthy when we get there so that we're not dead. Or so that we don't die while doing it. Okay. So we're only firing at the moment so that flies are spawned, so that Rotten Baby is... Because Rotten Baby only spawns flies while you're shooting. Okay. I'm not using Little Brimstone right now because he's very difficult to aim and I was getting the kills anyway. Perfect. Death is really good. Oh my god, death in this room, fuck yeah. Four targets, each individually with pretty low health. Yeah, death in this room is amazing. Death is usually horrible against bosses, which is why I'm happy. Multi-segment bosses are pretty much the... Oh, this is a speed up, thank you. Puberty is fine, it's not a speed down. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about this run. A lot, a lot better. Like, properly a lot better. A lot. Okay. Uh, it's just I'm so nervous about this run because it's, it's the most difficult challenge. Right? It's the one that should take the most of my time. As soon as I finish this, I'll unlock Epic Fetus, and then Epic Fetus... Uh, makes all... Uh, well, the next challenge uh, starts with Epic Fetus and you play as uh, Judas, right? 
It's called Glass Cannon, I think. So you have a lot of damage, but you can't take any. So fucking easy. Easiest goddamn challenge. As soon as I finish this challenge, I will be basically done with challenges, which is why it's so important to me. Okay. Yeah, I'll blow that up. Yeah, definitely worth it. Lovely. Should take care of our consumables for quite some time. Thankfully, due to our speed, we can actually get away from those folk. Oh, yes. Speed is like the biggest HP up of all time. Huh, thank you. I would have used Dad's key and I would have found that anyway, but thank you for being there. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, wait, I can't purchase PhD. I would like PhD, but since we have puberty in our rotation, you know, that's not going to get removed. We have explosive diarrhea in our rotation. That doesn't get removed. So it's not like not picking up PhD is actually going to be bad for us. Well, it'll be bad, but it won't be devastatingly bad. It's not like missing hive mind is what I guess I'm trying to say. Perfect. Okay. Arcade is fine. Oh, this is already open. Monstro's Tooth. Monstro's Tooth is probably better. I'll take Monstro's Tooth at the end of the floor, though. Because Monstro... Oh, fucking hell. Monstro's Tooth is something I'm only really going to want to use against bosses. That's unfortunate for me. Come on, I just want to remove as many enemies as I possibly can. Urgh. Lovely. Which I guess is the entire goal of the video game. That's probably completely redundant to say. In fact, it's definitely completely redundant to say. Probably was also completely redundant to say. Damn it. Why do I have the compass effect right now? No, wait, I don't. What? Oh! Curse of the Maze must have just teleported me here, yeah. Thank you. Oh, look at all this delicious gold. How many more floors do I have? Okay, so I have two more floors with shops. Hopefully, at least one of them contains hive mind. If both of them somehow contain hive mind, I'd be happy about that as well. Because that would be four times damage up for my familiar- uh, well, for my flies at least. That would be insane. Range down, oh no. My tears now have lower range, guys. You have to understand what a calamity this is to me. However will I continue to survive? Whoa, alright. That was almost dangerous. I did not think he was going to move directly towards us. More speed up? Okay. I was kind of hoping for a deal with the devil to be completely honest. <laughs> Just to be completely honest with you, I was really hoping for the deal with the devil. Okay. No secret rooms adjacent to any floor of this. Nope. Not doing it. If I had to guess, there would be a secret room directly below me right now. Come on! Die! My great! Perfect. Yeah, I figured. Alright. Oh man, okay, so, magic mushroom. Give me magic mushroom. Give me that magic, magic mush. Damn it. Well, we can go through double puberty and grow the biggest beard. I really wish that was a thing. Bad gas. Hematomesis. Health up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I guess. I guess okay. Well, I, I, I mean, I get to play the blood bank a bit more, hopefully end up with the blood bank upgrade. Blood bag upgrade, sorry. I guess that's what uh, hematomesis is going to be really useful for. So... Gonna... Excuse me. 
Okay, sorry, you don't understand. I'm trying to go to the arcade, please. Thank you. One, two, three. The reason this is really good is because Hematomesis drops you down to one full red heart, but I already have a full red heart. So instead I get dropped up to one full red heart. And then drops a random, I don't know if it's entirely random amount of red hearts on the floor. Okay, I can play this a bit more. You know what? I'm definitely going to play these, especially this one here. Because I'm looking for pretty flies. Not the pill, I'm just looking for the orbital. I can also use those hearts to gamble more, possibly get my blood bag. Oh, soul heart makes all of this worth it, definitely. Okay. There's going to have to be a lot of gambling going on. It's like I was doing in the cathedral last time I attempted this run. I'm just, although I'm doing it much earlier this time, trying to make sure that there is no way that this run can sink. No stone left unturned that could help us. Oh, I accidentally wasted half of a red heart, by the way. Because I accidentally picked up uh, the second full red heart while I already had... Well, while I only had half a red heart of uh, damage. Oh, well. I want to play as optimally as possible to succeed here. Play again, and again. At any point I want, I can go get Monstro's Tooth. Actually, I'm just going to quickly finish out this floor. Perfect. Lovely. Uh. Okay. Now Monster, uh, sorry, the key is no longer worthwhile for me. So... Gamble away my health. Go pick up Monstro's Tooth. Yeah, I'll summon Monstro on that. Lovely. Oh, the Haunt, really? This is going to be difficult, actually. Damn it. The Haunt's difficult because... The movement of his dudes is insane, and it's also very difficult for me to control my dudes, so... There are just some dude problems going on. Okay, easy. I say after talking about how difficult it is. Easy. Good work, Ryan. Come on, pretty flies. That's all I want. I don't need all of this continuation of my gambling. I just need pretty flies. Although I love the soul hearts as well. That's a hematomesis, yeah. Fine. I'll gamble more. Take that. What's the item in this? Sh no, it's greed this floor. Okay. I was thinking, PhD uh, increases the payouts from... Yeah, that's not going to help me. PhD increases the payouts from blood banks, so you want to have it before you go hog wild on a blood bank. Oh my god. The game wants me to gamble forever. The game hates entertainment value. That's what it does. It just wants me to gamble... And gamble and whine about my gambling until eternity. I mean, I'm getting a lot of consumables, but that's not what I want. Okay, right. Yeah, I can't do this for longer. I tried. I really tried. Pretty flies would be so fucking big for us, by the way. They really would. Um, two locations for the super secret room that I haven't already checked. One location, apparently. Yep. Oh, 
Okay. Bad trip. Mm -hmm. Alright, all in all, pretty good floor. It's a lot of health ups, that was. Almost absurd amount. In fact, literally absurd amount. Literally. Um. Damn it. No. Please no. Damn it. Please no. Video game, please. I hate that rune so much. I probably would have used Monstro's Tooth on it if I had it active. Lovely. The power of little brimstone. Oh, thank you. Okay. Spawn all of the chests, please. Big Beautiful Fly is also amazing. I think Big Beautiful Fly's damage is increased by, um... My Best Friend, rather than... Well, My Best Friend. I think it's called Best Friends Forever. I think it's increased by Best Friends Forever, rather than by anything else that would affect it, so... This should be really good. Especially against bosses, that'll be really good. I think it's 80 damage, which is... I believe the same amount of damage that a bomb does. But if it's doubled, that's 160 damage. That is, the tankiest uh, bosses have about, well, a, a few thousand, maybe. So on average, that's going to end up being about 10% of the HP of a boss. And it can happen multiple times per fight. That's amazing. Cannot be overstated how really important that is for me. Especially because it's so unlikely. I don't know if there are, like, item generations that are seeded for runs like this, or if I'm just getting really lucky. Because I had a rainbow baby just randomly spawn last time I tried this run. Of course, the run didn't end up working out, but... You know. It was there. Please blow them up. Thank you. I'm looking to blow these up so that... There we go. That's why. Three bombs for two spirit hearts. I'll do that every single day. From now until the end of time, motherfuckers. I'll always do that. Uh, not always. <laughs> I'll immediately contradict myself. That's what I'll do. That's what the kids are into these days. Immediate contradictions. Okay. Oh my god, war. You have no clue how happy I am to see you. This is not only going to be an orbital for us, but since we have B uh, the BFF, it's going to do so much damage. It will carve through bosses. Uh, if this is Krampus's head, I am liable to orgasm. So, just warning you. <laughs> so crude. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's the sound I make. Oh my god. Literally like that. It's horrible. Uh, I didn't want to shoot that yet, but that was full health there. Item Martyr? Fuck yes. Yeah, fuck it. I'm cashing in. I'm taking all of this. All this shit's coming with me. Also blow that up. Isaac's Fork is going to give us a little bit of life steal, but really not much at all. Not even slightly. I am going to continue on the floor because we are so powerful that it really doesn't matter. We can make benefit out of all of these types of things without having to worry. We should not take damage this floor at all. There should be no way for us to do that. Okay. Empress is actually okay. The reason Empress is okay is because it will increase the damage of our flies for a single room by three. Each fly. Uh, the Empress obviously giving you the effect of the Whore of Babylon. And the Whore of Babylon giving you 1.5 damage. Yep, okay, that's fine. Not the most useful uh, secret room that I could have gotten, but uh, definitely one of the secret rooms that I could have gotten, and who can begrudge at that? 
I, yeah, I feel really, 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 really confident right now. After getting that cube of meat, especially. Okay, yeah, I have enough speed to just go straight through there. I was worried about it, but I shouldn't have been. Um, Necropolis 2. Okay, so that that is always Joker. I'll show you. Not Joker, sorry. It's always Magician. <laughs> that isn't me correcting myself after I was wrong, by the way. I know it's always Magician. I've said it before in different episodes. Always Joker. It couldn't even be Joker because it didn't have the Joker card back. The red card back. God, my nose is so itchy. That's what I keep... That's why I keep going silent. I'm itching my nose. Yeah. So this is actually the last floor where I can get a uh, shop. So I'm actually going to buy the remote detonator. Because 15 cents for a total of five bombs. Because when you buy the remote detonator and pick it up, you get five bombs. 15 cents for five bombs is actually pretty good. Ow, damage. I like the polycephalus decided not to move for a while though. That was pretty good. That probably means I'm going to go back for that spirit heart that was in the room. The shop, I mean. And the reason those bombs are so useful for us is because of the same meta that I was talking about last time we did this run, where I blow these up looking for... Uh, specifically... I'm looking for Dry Baby and Ghost Baby, which can spawn after you blow up skulls. You know, whatever I get, that's fine. Okay, I've already run out of time for the boss rush, so there's no reason not to continue exploring the floor. Unless, of course, I was scared of stuff on the floor. So now, in that big room, the double room up here, well, quadruple room, actually. But Penny is worse. In the quadruple room up here... Do -do -do -do. All the way around here. Boom! I can do that. Because there is that, um... Oh! Ghost baby! Oh, thank you. Gimpy! Oh, free items galore! I love it. Thank you for ghost baby, though. Ghost baby is going to pretty significantly increase our damage output. I mean, we have only three directs normal tier shooting familiars. Um, one more now to Ghost Baby. Oh, the way that I speak has been... has be Good fucking work, right? Has been completely decimated by how happy I am to have Ghost Baby. Pop. Pop, pop. pop. Okay. And I still do have another... I still do have another battery on the floor. So that's why I was okay with what I just did. Perfect. Easy, easy. There's the battery. Actually, there was another battery as well. I'm not going to use the Empress in the mum fight. I don't think I need to. I don't think it'll even help. I mean, I'm using Krampus' head, and then I'm going to cut her down with... Uh... Come on, pop up. Look at all of the damage she's already sustained. And boom. Dead. Polaroid is always more useful. Uh, that's my second guppy item. Okay. I'll take it. I already have flying, but now if guppy's hairball inflicts... Oh, I missed a tinted rock there. Shit, there was a tinted rock on the boss fight that I just missed. Um, but if guppy's hairball inflicts damage after I've become guppy, it will also spawn flies for me. So that's pretty good. I'm not doing an incredible amount of damage right now, but I can win the run with this. I just need to stay healthy. I mean, I, I, I'm not doing an incredible amount of damage by this, uh, by normal run standards. By this run standards, I am fucking god right now. I am 
everything. I am the Holy Spirit, God, and Jesus incarnate. I am the Holy Trinity of damage right now. Actually, I don't think it's worth my time uh, to do that. That one. What was that? What was that pill? Does anyone remember what that pill was? Just, uh, just tell me after I've filmed, rendered, videoed all of the stuff for this episode. Okay, fine. So giving hearts to this guy also gives me the chance to trigger Gimpy. Which is pretty good. No! Damn it, he blew himself up. Ah, this is actually really good now. Because now I trigger the Horror of Babylon. Well, Horror of Babylon. Not Horror of Babylon, sorry. Puberty, great. I trigger permanent Polaroid invincibility when I get hit now. That's our final Guppy item. We are now Guppy. We don't have enough damage to take Guppy's hairball with us over um, Krampus' head. By the way, Krampus' head now uh, is going to spawn an incredible amount of flies for us. Take both of those, go back here, play this with Polaroid invincibility. Yeah, I'll take the virus, I guess. Not particularly useful, but I'll take it. Oh, yes. This is a one run. He says, wholesale stealing, wholesale stealing terms from other people who play this video game. Ooh, I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen a golden one of those guys before. Oh no, I need to take another, I need to pick up another half heart, half red heart, and then take damage. I want to constantly have the Polaroid invisibility um, available to me. Hey. Come on, die, please. Just pop up at the right times. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Krampus' head is going to spawn 5,000 flies. Did I already say that? It's going to spawn, like, a stupid amount of flies. It'll be hilarious. I don't know if we are spawning flies when our familiars are hitting. That would be amazing if we were. And also, something that I didn't know happens. So... That's always really fun to find things in Isaac that I've no clue about, that I was wrong about, especially. I'm really happy to find stuff like that. Okay. So that instantly kills Mama Gertie and gives us a HP plus tears up plus shot speed down. So basically HP for us. If I had some mapping effect, I would be really happy. Because then I could just, you know, skip straight to the end of this run. I hate Polycephalus. Come on. Come on. Back up. There we go. And yeah. Take that shit forever. Easiest fight of my life. I'm not taking that because if I find a blood bank or another demon beggar, I can play them to the point that I will have permanent Polaroid invincibility. I just accidentally activated that, which was full health, which uh, basically negates everything I was just talking about. Ow. Ow. No, not cool. Stop taking damage, Ryan. That was sloppy play. Oh, great. Now, if I did have that half red heart, I would be um, in... Permanent Polaroid Invincibility. Great. So I'm playing this because Gimpy has the ability to give me more red hearts. Well, sorry, more spirit hearts. Do I play it out? I think I actually should play it out. Yeah, play it out. Which just means that I'm going to play it until the machines blow up. Or until I get way bored. That's lovely. Now I can play this so many times. Unfortunately, I don't count as taking damage on a lot of those times. So I'm not getting gimpy to do anything for me. Oh, that guy just blew himself up. So that's lovely. Go back out of the room. Come back into the room. 
I don't think I actually have to go out of the room and come back into the room for the permanent Polaroid invincibility to respawn. Oh, I'm thinking of scapula. Whoops. So red flies can't spawn from this one. So that's why I'm standing so close to it at all times. It really doesn't matter. This is just more efficient for quickly playing it, I guess. Okay. You know, I'll just pop bad gas so that it's out of my way. Thank you. <sighs> I think I want all of my red health back now. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm gonna bomb this, actually. Uh-oh. I should have gone to my... Oh... Uh... Oh no, I'm 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 making plays that could be considered throwing right now. I would have taken so much damage on that room, let's be honest. Um I might as well clear enough rooms to get the charge back on it though. Okay, come down here. Take this. Too risky to do, but it paid out. So I guess that makes it okay. It doesn't make it okay. I shouldn't have done that. With with a run like this, which is already basically one, um, I really shouldn't be taking all the risks that I'm taking. I can see forever is really good for us though. Lovely. What's in there? Just some money. With this many keys, there's no reason not to open those in case they have spirit hearts in them. Where are our secret rooms? Jesus. Oh, no. Yeah, that was stuck in there. So, I actually got a free uh, point charge on the Krampus' head by going back in there. Okay. Lovely. That's a lot of money. Uh-oh. Explosive diarrhea, bad trip, bad gas, bad trip, range down. None of those are better than the Empress, I don't think. Okay, yeah, we should... Thank you. Uh, we should definitely have our charge back by the time we fight the boss. Only just, if we didn't notice that Gimpy had dropped a spirit heart in the curse room and then gone back to collect it just to take damage while gaining health at the same rate, so basically equal. Well, it did equal out. Exactly. Okay, and dodge all of those things. Let's go up. Okay, I just want something mapping so that I can go directly to the cathedral. Uh, unfortunately, I can't make this brighter for you. God damn it. Really? So I gained two spirit hearts for fighting this room. But I might lose more than that. Dealing with Loki is super easy. Oh, Chubb will be easy as well. So make Chubb eat my bomb. Yep. And then my... I don't know what I wanted from those red chests anyway. I was already guppy. I guess more damage somehow? Goat's head wouldn't affect me. I don't know. I don't know why I killed those chests. I think I was wanting the uh, spirit hearts. But, you know, I kind of ended up evening out in terms of how many spirit hearts I gained and lost. No, I only took one damage and I got two. Okay, I guess it was fair. God oh, damn it. Stop moving so much, Roth. That's uh, Hemitomesis, isn't it? Yeah. Hemitomesis. Oh. Yeah. So I used Hemitomesis because I'm an idiot. And I forgot that I wasn't going to go down to a half red heart. 
If it was a half red heart, that would mean we have permanent Polaroid invincibility on all of the damage that we take from now on. But it isn't. So I'm just a... I'm a dumb man. I'm a dumb, dumb man. I'll take this and this. Basically, I just gave up two hearts. Kind of. Oh, Isaac's Fork is giving me random extra hearts. Oh, that's where that's coming from. That'll probably put me out of polar uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility anyway. Oh, well. So glad that I got the first shot there. Oh, man, that could have been painful. I am trying to look for these tinted rocks, but I'm not seeing anything so far. Oh, I was expecting another horseman of the apocalypse in this room. Really hoping for more spirit hearts gained than lost by going in there, but whatever. Okay, come on, boss room. Oh, yep, yeah, I'll play this. I'll take map, I'll take compass, I'll take blue map. Guess I'll take fanny pack as well. I mean, I don't really get a choice in the matter, so I'll take it. Okay. This is... This is... I, I would have to very specifically throw hard to lose this. Which makes me very glad. We're going to be doing glass cannon next time. And that is going to be super easy and a very nice, pleasant way to end our challenges here in the Binding of Isaac. Then we can get back to normal runs. Oh, don't you miss them. Normal runs. I know I miss them, but I do need to get all of this stuff out of the way. So that I can get back to my main task, not unlocking the lost. Okay. So Empress is super important in this boss room because we are going to spawn an incredible amount of flies. Off of the back of the fact that we're going to use Krampus' head here. Like that. Oh, please stop hitting me. Three more hits and we get to use Krampus' head again. That should probably just win us the fight by doing that. Oh, thank you. Oh, come on. The hit spawned directly on top of me. Okay. Oh, my God. I thought I was out of the range of that. No. You know what? I'm going to take one more damage. And I'm going to wait for Isaac to come back down. Krampus head you in the face. Oh, my God. It died for the big, beautiful fly before I could do it. But still... It doesn't matter because the one, the run is one. Whoops. We've unlocked the epic fetus, which, wait a second. Have we, did that not unlock the challenge? Shit. Have we not unlocked Loki's horns? All right. I guess we just have to play a few runs and try and unlock Loki's horns. I have no clue how we don't have Loki's horns as an unlocked item, but my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game is Binding of Isaac Rebirth. That has been The Family Man fucking completed. The last challenge that we're going to have to do is going to be incredibly trivial. I'll finish it in 10 minutes and then I'll just go play another run. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself as much as I have. Uh, please click like if you have. Uh, it does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my Binding of Isaac Rebirth content, including all of the challenges by challenge name and then attempt number. Hopefully we'll see you next time.